Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007 here on Twitch TV. I'm, of course, your host, Jess, and uh, folks, we got a little something new for you today. Joining me at the desk is Jason D. Davis. Jason, welcome back. Thank you for having me again. As much as a, of a terrible time as I had last, last time here on commentary, the TV station begged and pleaded for me to fill in for Dom tonight, and uh, with a little bit of money, here I am. And, of course, our main event tonight is the Young Lions taking on Hardcore Country. Later on tonight, we do have Katie versus John Woods, uh, formerly known as the Bastard Pack, now going by his real name of John Woods. But first, folks, coming up next, it is your opening contest. It is Dan Masters taking on Brad Pute. Brad Pute with a huge showing at the Royal Rumble. Same thing with Dan Masters. Let's see if either one of these guys can take a victory away. And folks, got to be the best entrance in Ring the Bell Wrestling history is this guy. Just, I just love it. I don't know who Styles is, but uh, there he is. I don't know who that is. Ladies and gentlemen, his name, D, M. That's right. His new name is D. He's going now by D M. We all know him by Dan Masters, of course. But with this new persona that he's adopted, he is choosing to go under the initials DM from here on out. And Jason, what do you think about this new attitude from, from DM? Uh, look, it was a shock to see him return at the Royal Rumble. I was, of course, backstage ready to, to come out to the match. Uh, I, I think this might be the thing that DM needs to, uh, to, to jumpstart his career. Hopefully DM can get a huge a huge win tonight of course brad pute looking to prove himself even farther with a huge win uh and he he lost to katie at the royal rumble looking to make up for that loss and uh hopefully i, I believe he's already in the ring oh we got that kind of entrance oh yeah he got the jobber entrance that's what that's what happens when you lose a singles match at the royal rumble uh, except for, uh, I don't think, well, Pirate Paul always gets the job or entrance. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your opening contest. DM taking on Brad Pugh. Now, Jason, who do you have in this matchup tonight? Look, I haven't seen a lot of Brad Pugh, of course. Uh, now the first, my first exposure to him was at the Royal Rumble, so it's a bit tough to, a bit tough to call this one, but I mean, you have to look at the size of Brad Pugh. He's a ginormous man. Uh, he, he's jacked, and I think that you know he he could pull out with a, a win tonight. I I mean I definitely agree with you. Uh, Dan Masters now with a nice shoulder block here. Now Dan going up to the top. Let's see what he's got. DM going airborne. Huge up. No, the elbow missed. Pute got the knees up. And now Pute just wrenching away at the leg, trying to ground DM. And of course, folks, we can you can now vote using our new poll system up at the top. Don't forget to put your votes in for DM or Brad Pute. And you can vote as many times as you want to to really let your person know how much you support them. And a huge clubbing forearm shot from DM here. DM, new look, new attitude. And you got to say, Manus winning that. Oh, nice punch over the top. That that Royal Rumble win by Manus really sets up um, DM in a very interesting position here on the card. Honestly, if I was him, that would just give me nothing but, but the fuel I need to, to push forward. Uh, you know, it does put him in a very interesting position, being his uh, former relationship with, uh, you know, the Young Lions and the Manus family. No, I, I mean, I definitely agree with you there. 
Let's see what Master's going for here. And a nice another shoulder tackle. Taking him down. Now Dan Master locking up. Brad Pugh. He's got the... Uh oh, we're losing some frames here. Nice take down there. And now let's see where so, Brad Pugh yeah, is looking for here. Mission. Jason, I do want to uh, commend you on your... On your uh, Royal Rumble performance last time out, uh, with a huge Thank elimination you. of uh, of of, uh, of Large Martinez. Uh, yeah, you know, I think his size—it's obviously there, but in some sense, it's kind of an optical illusion. Uh, he's not, uh, you know, <laughs> absolved from from you know getting a little bit of a one-two punch from me. Yeah, I mean, single-handedly too. I mean, I'm not, you know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to, to butter your bread or anything, but huge DDT! Speaking of some buttered bread right there, DM, huge advantage right now. But yeah, I, I do have to give you props for what you're able to do. Uh, you, you know, it, it's kind of bittersweet seeing people saying, you know, on, on all the wrestling forums that it was a, uh, a surprise to them. Sure, perhaps it was a shock, but it shouldn't have been. Hey, you know, whatever, uh... Uh-oh, wait a sec, DM going up. Brad Pugh taking him down off the apron, off the top turnbuckle right onto the outside. But Brad Pugh not able to follow up. I don't think D I think DM was able to land a little bit on the ground. Uh, well, I mean, of course you land on the ground. Where else are you going to go? But I don't think yeah, he got the full those impact. steps, which is very key. Yeah, that that's the most important for sure. Now, Dan going up top again. Huge elbow drop. Trying to regain some composure here. And let's see where he's going. He's got him in the corner here. Dragging him out. Wait a sec. Snake eyes! And now going into the far right. Oh! We're not, oh there we go. Very smart move on huh. Brad Pute's part. Yeah, Brad Pute able to roll out of the ring at just the perfect time here. And now, you know, with the job ranch, people might not be expecting a lot from Pew, but I mean, he, he's he's being quite impressive in this match. Yeah, and a huge clubbing forearm to the back. And let's see what he's got here. He's going for a Brock lock. He's got it in. But right in the ropes. Bad positioning. And let's see what DM is going for here. Huge chop. Running. More, a series of strikes again. Irish whip into the corner. Let's see what he's going for here. Huge clothesline. Spinning him around. Collar and elbow again. Nice. Scoop, slant. Wait a sec, is that it? No, rope break. See, that's where the size of Pewd, I think, comes into play. He's so tall that, that he's able to get to those ropes quite easily. You have to be right in the center of the ring to, to pick one up over this man. Yeah, I mean, you have a great point. Those long legs, and bro, he misses an elbow drop. He's definitely affected by it, but no, not enough, clearly. But a nice takedown there, but yeah, DM's definitely feeling something right now after those elbows. Let's... Yes, tough elbows. I mean, he's taking some really hard shots in this match. Again, falling out to the outside of the ring from the top row. Oh, gut buster! A nice gut buster there by DM. That could be it. Two and no, <laughs> Nick Patrick getting right up and deep into the anus of Brad Pugh. Nice El uh, arm drag there. DM huge clubbing for him to the back again, and that could is that going to be it now? One, two, and three. That is it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in gaining some more momentum, it's DM. Yeah, so far this grittier side of DM is paying off. No, I, I definitely agree with you. The new change of attitude helped propel him to this victory over Brad Pugh. Brad Pugh, another heck of a showing. Uh, but folks, we have a promo coming up from your Royal Rumble winner and number one contender. It's Manus. Everybody take a listen. I told you all 
that I was going to win the Rumble in our last 29 other minutes. And that's what I did. And you see, it doesn't matter if a Fatso is a champion. I am confident that I will be the new champion at WrestleMania. And let's be honest here. What's more satisfying than winning the, the Royal Rumble? And that is watching that disappointment Dan Masters getting eliminated. You see, Dan, what you just see is a true winner. And I get to do what you wish you wanted to do, but it will never happen. And that is going to WrestleMania and win the championship for your former family. Hell, this ain't a family. This is an empire. Because as far as I'm concerned, not only I'm going to take home the championship at WrestleMania, but my boys will be also taking home, taking back what's their rightfully theirs, the tag team championships. And we will be draped in gold. We are the empire. We will be All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is Katie taking on the bastard, John Woods. In another repackaging of superstars, we have John Woods here tonight. Yeah, something, I don't know what happened at that Royal Rumble, but it seems like people want to turn a new leaf, start fresh. Yeah, and now making her way to the ring, it is the woman's revolution. It's Katie. And Katie with an impressive showing at the Rumble for sure, defeating Brad Pugh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Quite a debut to have. And now tonight, she, I guess we could say that she upgrades to a bit of a better opponent in John Woods. Uh, Brad Pugh hasn't won John Woods. I don't think, the, I don't think he's won under his name of Pac. But folks, here he comes. It is the new and improved The Mastered John Woods. From England. He's been trying to find his feedy here in RTBW. Of course, he came in as a Dan Ramones partner, I believe, and now he's trying to find some success in singles competition. Uh, we'll see if he can, you know, stop the momentum of Katie here and gain some for himself. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely the hard part is that uh, Katie has so much momentum coming out of just a big win a lot of people out here just uh really excited for her rooting and rallying behind her so uh, john has a, an uphill battle tonight yes absolutely absolutely and here we go the match is a huge drop kick to start the match katie irish whip another drop kick oh I was going to say, as much as, as this was going to be tough for John Woods, it would be, uh, you know, quite a test for Katie, but I, I could be eating my words. This might be this might be a, a walk in the park for Katie. Yeah, this is huge, folks. And now let's see where Katie's going to go for here. Nice Irish whip into the corner. Huge clothesline. And now spinning him up. He got, she got him in a package. Two and no. And let's see what Katie's gonna go for here. Nice arm drag on John Woods. And let's see where Katie is gonna go for here. The Jason, this is very impressive how she's gotten right out of the gate. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, John Woods hasn't gotten any offense in this thing so far. I mean, that's the uh, hard he's, part. He's gotta, he's gotta make some room. Yes. He has got to get some room, uh, try to change momentum quickly, because if it stays like this, it, it's not going to last for long, this match. Uh-oh. Speaking of lasting long, here we go. Nice Huracan Rana. Beautifully done and going up top. Elbow drop. And now Katie in complete control. Huge. Uh-oh. What is she going for here? Uh-oh. Spinning him around again. Wasn't able to hook the legs that time, though. 
I might have saved John Woods in this match. And now, here we go. She's going up. Here it is. 450. Splash. One, two, and that is it. Wow. What an impressive showing from Katie. Ladies what a sad showing from John Woods also. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're the winner. It is John Woods. Just kidding. <laughs> Never thought you'd hear that. It's Katie. Katie with a huge victory. Huge scoop slam, by the way, too. And good for her. Yeah. Incredibly impressive. Uh, yeah, you know, I was, I was talking about... Uh, or, excuse me, John Woods trying to gain momentum again. After this loss, I don't know how he's going to be able to do that. Yeah, I mean, well, speaking of some momentum here, here's a man with zero momentum. It's Big Vito taking on a man who has recently changed. It is the kind man, Jimmy Chimmel. And uh, Jason, what do you think of the of this new gimmick from uh, from Jimmy Chimmel? Well, you know, he was ahead of the curve with all these gimmick changes, but I think there's a lot left to be seen out of uh, Jimmy Chimmel. Uh, of course, the nephew of ring announcer Tony Chimmel. Yeah, ring, uh, Hall of Famer Tony Chimmel. I think that the reason why he's doing this is to, to try to step out of his uncle's shadow, you know, trying to pave his own way, not not have, uh, you know, that, that affiliation weigh him down. No, I mean, I can definitely see that. I can see your perspective on that one. But Jimmy Chimmel, huge victory in the lead-up to the Rumble. Not great in the Rumble himself, getting eliminated pretty early on. So we'll see how he does tonight. And now, let's, let's bring out his opponent, folks. He is the one and only... Dress wearing man of the year, Big Vito. Uh, don't really know what, what what much there is to say about Big Van Vito, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, that's just because he hasn't done much. Every time everybody, you know, here's what I'm saying. We put him on the ballot for Taboo Tuesday, and this man almost won. Having zero matches in over three months, this man almost won a fan vote. You gotta say, I don't understand it personally, but you gotta give him credit where credit's due. And that is, Vito is a man of the people. You know, and hopefully tonight uh, he can... Oh, sorry, what was that? Uh, no, 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 continue, continue. I was just gonna say, hopefully the people win out tonight. Uh, I was gonna say, right now, looking at our current polls, uh, it is 100% for the kind man. So, uh, that's very interesting. <laughs> Perhaps Vito isn't a man of the people. <laughs> I guess not. Maybe he's one of those memes. Oh! Low blow from Vito. I think the people might like me more than than Big Vito, and I don't know if that's possible. I was gonna say I don't think anybody ever likes you. And now I'm just yeah, that, that was that really mean. Me. I'm so sorry. Hey, are you? I'll let it slide again. I'll let it slide again. I do care about you. We're, good. We're, cool. We're, cool. Yeah. We're cool. We're cool. Anyways, now Big Vito yeah, with a nice knee line. drop to follow it up. Big Vito in control. Jimmy Chimmel has to get out of the ring. Um, and folks, for everybody asking, yes, it is still mean, even if it's true. Let's be nice to everybody here. And speaking of nice, Jason, what do you think about Chimmel's strategy of staying on the outside? Uh, hey, you know. Get, get some breathing room. He has 10 seconds. Uh, by all means, utilize, and that's what I would do. I believe you have done that in the past, too. Hey, perhaps he's uh, watching my tape, <laughs> trying to pick up some pointers from the best in the world. Yeah, and folks, 100% of the votes of the polling have closed, and Big Vito getting zero votes. Very interesting. Now as Vito goes to work over the leg, he's got a nice... Half crab modified lion tamer there, and unfortunately he's able to break out of it. And now, Jason, what do you think is the key to success for Vito tonight? 
Oh! Uh, the, not that. Not doing that yet. Not doing that. Perhaps not taking the risks that he's taking so far in this match. If I was him, I'd play it safe. I'd play it slow, and I'd uh, wear Chimmel down. Yeah, now Chimmel, speaking of wearing him down, going after the knees, the beautiful knees of Vito. As Chimmel now looking to pick his spots, misses a leg drop, but able to get right back up. Now let's see what Vito's going my Vito's big with the thing. Vito's big with the fans because he has they have like a knee fetish or something with his Maybe. Knees. I don't know. Everybody in the chats, if you have a knee fetish, say so. I, I want to see some knee fetishes in the chat here as a big AA from Vito. Yes, and, and we'll be screenshotting these for blackmail for future. And for Black Friday guess. next year. Fun fact. And for Black Friday, of course. And now Vito has Chimmel. Now Chimmel gets the headlock. And nice technical wrestling there from Chimmel on the go behind. Big Bulldog. To an Italian Bulldog in Vito. Very true. Yeah, and you gotta say, I mean, I'm telling me I'm wrong. Huge, huge thrust kick. And now Vito got him up. Foot trip to Rome. Ladies and gentlemen, Vito hits the foot trip to Rome, and that could be it. That's three. Wow, Vito with a big one. Vito coming out of nowhere, shocking the RTBW universe with a huge victory over the kind man. I think uh, Chimmel needs to you know, catch up on my tapes a little bit more if he wants to pick up a win. <laughs> hey, don't tempt the man. He almost uh, he almost became um, he almost became hardcore champion once. Don't let him get anywhere he near you. Weird, almost. And as we head into our next matchup is going to be speaking of the hardcore championship. It is going to be for the hardcore. Wait a second. Hey, that's Boogeyman. That's the Hardcore Champion. Who is that? What the hell? What the hell is this? Who is this guy? Uh, 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 this random... First of all, looks super cool. I don't know who he is, but... Oh, he just flapjacked the Boogeyman onto a car, and now he's got him over by the trash compactor. I mean, I have no idea what this is, but you love to see it. Uh-oh. Oh, she's right on the back. Um, what the heck? Who is this guy? Rusty shovel in hand. Oh my goodness! And another series of of just smacks. Is he gonna go for the hardcore championship? Uh, with this unknown man. Uh oh, he's got him up. Pile driver. Wait a sec. There's Golga! Oh, big slam! That's it! Ladies and gentlemen, your new hardcore champion is Golga! Oh, thanks wow, to this. This is, what, this is what I get for being on commentary again. I, I could have been out there pick capitalizing on that. I could have been hardcore champion right now. You could have been. I'm surprised you didn't run out of your seat right then. Unbelievable. Folks, Golga is the new champion and... Uh, we have this match, of course, going on now. It's uh, Johnny Nitro taking on the infamous Mr. America, who debuted inside the Rumble. There's the unknown man, Mr. America. Quite the uh, mystery debut. I know the whole world is, is asking, who, who, who on earth is this man? Well, of course, we want to know that. We also want to know who the man was out in the parking lot. Do you, do you have any idea of who that could be? Because I got nothing. No, I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you. I really oh. couldn't tell you. That's unbelievable. But folks, making his way to the ring, it is the hot one, Johnny Nitro. Johnny Nitro, former RTBW World Champion. The number 30 entrant in the Rumble and the final loser. If you were to ask Manus who this guy was. Man is pinning Johnny Nitro after using his own finisher move. Yes, adding a little bit of insult to injury. Yeah, and picking up a huge victory. Of course, Manis, you heard from him earlier tonight. The Young Lion's going to regain the gold tonight, and he is going to take the gold at WrestleMania. But speaking of gold, 
Here is America's number one sweetheart, Mr. America. Mr. America. Crowd going wild for this man. And we have no idea the identity of this guy either. Um, of course, there are always rumors floating around on the dirt sheets backstage, but nothing has been confirmed. And now, Mr. America making his singles debut tonight against Johnny Nitro. And I, Jason, I'd have to say that might be a hard, hard one to pull off. Yeah, that would be very impressive if he picked up a one-on-one -on -one victory against Johnny Nitro. I, I've got Johnny Nitro in this match. Like I said last time I was on commentary, I, I feel a kindred spirit to, to Johnny Nitro in his style of in-ring offense. Is it because you're one of Hollywood's greatest heroes? Uh, sure, that, that might be a moment. That, <laughs> that could it. be that it. Could be a, that could be a connection. Speaking of, of Hollywood, here comes uh, Mr. America taking on Johnny Nitro. And now oh, America going thing? straight to the outside. Look at him trying to get a breather perhaps, real fast. Perhaps Mr. America has also been watching my tapes. <laughs> Maybe. And now Nitro just <laughs> Nitro's just watching this happen. He's not even moving. I think Mr. America is trying to bait him out of the ring, but Johnny Nitro very smart, very wise. Holding his own. Here we go. Now Nitro's got the arm. He's tired of, of Mr. America's games here. 30 seconds in the match, you finally have a you finally have a lockup. Mr. America slowing it down to his pace in a series of chops. And some more strikes to Nitro. He misses the uppercut. Nitro takes advantage. Irish whip. Huge right hand. Knocking him off his feet. Jason, I gotta say, I have no idea what's going on in this company anymore. It's absolutely insane what's going on. You, you yeah, got there's uh, a lot of people running roughshod. It's it's not a good look for the company. I'll say that. That's why they need you know people like me to be the face, be here on commentary. Uh, it, of course, they they want a little bit of a yeah they want a little bit of you know, stability, and I'm here to offer that. Uh, never, uh, never an opportunity to promote yourself, isn't it? Never, never a dull moment here. And uh, speaking of dull moments, a nice back uh, reverse DDT there from Nitro, taking advantage of Mr. America. Uh, folks, if you have any knowledge about the identity of Mr. America, the man who attacked Boogeyman, or heck, even DM. Please let us know in the in the comment section below. We'd love to hear any of your thoughts on all of our yes. Ring the Bell Wrestling superstars. Yes, we also have a hotline set up. It's 911 America is the number. And we believe we're it is getting put into the chat. Uh-oh, spinning around! Here we go! Oh, like drop! Beautiful maneuver there, but that's not it. He's not ending it. I think he, you know, is a little pissed off at Mr. America for wasting his time earlier on in that match. He wants to teach him a lesson now. Yeah, and I'm sure that it lost to Manus at the Rumble doesn't help either. Remember, folks, drink your water and look out for elbow drops. Johnny Nitro absolutely on fire tonight. I don't even think, I don't even think Mr. Canada can stop him at this point. Beautiful elbow drop. And now here we go. He's gonna go for another one here. A nice spinning leg drop to Mr. America. And how fitting that the leg drop is the move that puts Mr. America away. That is it, folks. Your winner, Johnny Nitro. Beautifully done. And I got You gotta say, big props to Nitro here. He's looking great, even though he lost the Royal Rumble. You'd have to. Yeah, I gotta wonder what's next for Nitro. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit tough to find his footing, of course, with with you know Manus already having that title shot lined up. Yeah, you know things things are already kind of placed, set in stone. But you know Nitro's trying to find a little little crevice to weasel into. I'm sure trying to yeah. find his place. Speaking of crevices, get your crevices ready for Eastern Championship Wrestling and Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007 crossover for the first time ever this December. Watch as your favorite 
ECW superstars take on the cast of RTBW, and of course, hey Jason, there you are. It's the Survivor I don't Series. Know who found that picture? <laughs> Some, someone found my high school yearbook, apparently. <laughs> Jason, you gotta say you're very ready for Survivor Series. Alongside Charles Chungus, the poster boy, Charles Chungus will be in action next week. Just ki yes, it is next week. Perfect. He'll be in action next week as he takes on the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, to prepare for the Survivor Series match between Team Sexy and Team uh, Anti-Sexy, I guess. But folks, it's your main event, Team and it's for the Tag Team Championship. It's Hardcore Country taking on the Young Lions. Is Chungus the, the leader of Team Anti-Sexy? I, Well, so here's the thing. That main event match will be Team Sexy taking on Charles Chungus, Trevor Murdoch, and Paul Burchill. Arguably the three biggest contenders that Umaga's had to face for that RTBW championship. I would call that Team Ugly then. I mean, Charles Chungus has to hide his face, so. I, I mean, and you've seen Trevor Murdoch. He's yeah, sexier yeah, than yeah. all of them combined. But folks, here comes that the tag true. team champions. Uh, but I don't see their belts anywhere. That's interesting. Perhaps they, they perhaps they don't even think they're gonna need them to be out here. They don't think they're gonna lose them. Perhaps they're that confident here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mikey. I hear. Mikey is saying someone stole the belts. Oh. Yeah. He just yelled that from the ring. I don't know if you heard that. I wonder who took the. Everything's happening. I don't even know who took the belts at this point oh you've got to be kidding me wow the young lions commit theft tonight very very impressive on the side of the young lions i have to say this is how you get into your opponent's head well you know oliver bisping has been going around telling everybody that he and morgan wolf are the rightful tag team champions maybe they just decided to take the belt early We can only assume. And now, folks, here we go. The big belt's up in the air. And here we go, folks. It is Young Lions taking on Hardcore Country for the tag team titles. Jason, who do you have in this matchup? As <laughs> Nick Patrick gets a little bit of a low, low uppercut there from, from Holly. You know, going into this, Hardcore Country, they've been on a roll, of course. Uh, successfully defending against uh, the Mexicals, I, I would have gone with them, but but after seeing you know what transpired directly before the bell rang, I, I might have to say the Young Lions. You know, it's clear that they're in the heads of, of Hardcore Country. They're they're doing their their best to you know to, to just throw them off their game, and and this this could be what they need to pick up the victory. I, I mean, I totally agree with you. The mind games that these guys said, and they've been going around all week. You know, I love Oliver Bisping to death. You know, I've met him in a Rite Aid, and I, 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 I could, I could see myself spending three to five years in Scranton, Pennsylvania, training with him on a higher, deeper level. And he's been going around all week saying that, that, that they are, uh, they've been robbed of those belts. It's, uh, it's definitely an interesting way to look at it. I, I think that might be, you know, a, a good way, to, to a good mindset to have. On, on the side of the young lions, you know, to think they are yours, to, to, to already believe that, that, that could give them a little bit of extra motivation. That's true. Very true indeed. And of course, look at Bisping now working, just stomping away at the legs of Mikey. Mikey, of course, yeah, okay. known for his hatred of Mexicals. <laughs> Thankfully, he doesn't have to face him this week. Oof. No, Mexicals, not Mexicans. There's a difference. Right, right. He's not racist. Yes, of course. You have to of tell course. him every week. <laughs> have to remind everybody, but for some reason, Oliver Bisping just focused on the legs of Mikey. And a nice knee to the, the nose, eye poke, and a high knee of his own. This is wise on the side of the Young Lions, cutting off Bob Holly from Mikey E. Whenever Bob comes back in the ring, they just try to, to take him down and then focus their energy on, on Mikey. Now let's see what Bisping's got going here. He's got some momentum on his side. Hardcore Holly though, with a counter. Huge counter here, wait a second. Production Stunner! 
The production I mean, stutter. Young lions have been in, the young lions have been in control this entire time. You know they're angry. You know they 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 believe that there's these belts are theirs and they're not letting Mikey or Holly take even a little bit of an advantage here. As Morgan just stretching out Mikey E. Uh, and of course you have to think that Manus is definitely watching this match very closely somewhere. Oh, you you gotta believe that. Of course, folks. No, I think I think the Manus family they want all the gold. They do want all the gold, and that's exactly what they're looking for. Come Royal Rumble time, Hardcore Holly able to break up the three count, and folks, we are being told that there is a huge six-man tag team match scheduled for Survivor Series. It's going to be the Young Lions taking on the team of of John Woods, Dan Ramon, and guess who? DM. Wow. Yeah, so the, it's going to look like six-man tag team action between the members, the former members of the Young Lions, the current members of the Young Lions, and and John Woods, of all people. Oh, and it's Oliver Bisping takes down Nick Patrick. Oh. It's clear that DM is not done with Manus. Yeah, and same thing. Getting I would assume that Manus would love to get his hands on DM one more time. Let's see what... That is also true. If I was Manus, I would move on, though. I, I, would, I would focus all my energy on, on the World Championship. But, but, you know, leading up to that, he has his opportunity. Perhaps, you know, it's yeah. a good time to take, take DM out for good. Oh, thankfully for Manus, Umaga is dealing with the, the, the demons of his past. His former number one contenders. So that might be able to... Oh, wait a sec here. Take a look at this. Oliver Bisping now stretching out the leg. That's it. It's over. They did it. Ladies and, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, your winners. And uh, once again, tag team champions of the world. AR Morgan Wolf, Oliver Bisping, the young... Lions and the slightly older lion with a huge submission victory there working on the knees of Dynamite Mikey E throughout the entirety of the match and it proved to be very beneficial that was one of the most dominating performances we've seen in the tag team division I definitely agree with you Jason thanks for joining me on commentary this week and once again big big props to Dom for being out there Yes, of course, supporting the Bigelow family in their time of need. Of course. Do you have anything else to say to the people? Uh, you know, it was better this time, I guess, than last time. Of course, I'm getting paid marks. I'm not a guest. I'm an actual broadcast partner this week. But, uh, you know, if if Dom ever has to attend another funeral, then I'll be here, I guess. Well, that's great to hear. For everybody here at Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007, I've been Jess. For Dom, Jason, and everybody in the Ring the Bell family, we will see you guys at episode 17 of Velocity.